Hey everybody, it's Hope and I'm here in Charleston, out in my neighborhood and out in nature once again looking for ways that love could be speaking to us. In other words, what could God be communicating to us through His creation? Romans 1.20 is plain. It tells us that we can see His invisible qualities, His eternal power, and His divine nature being clearly understood through what has been made so man is without excuse. So I have something I want to show you, a way I believe God is speaking to us in nature. You're looking at some Spanish moss here. It's actually a flowering plant and they're all over trees in the low country of South Carolina. You'll find them almost everywhere. I especially love the Spanish moss, this flowering plant on breezy days. And it's a breezy day here in Charleston. The reason I love it is because the wind blows and you can't see the wind. You can see the plant, but you can't see the wind. The wind's invisible. But watch the moss blow in the wind, which tells us that there are things that are real, which you cannot see. And wind is one of them. Look at that Spanish moss blow in the wind. Jesus had something pretty cool to say about wind in John chapter three. There was a guy in the Bible named Nicodemus, and he was like a sophisticated Pharisee. He knew a lot about the law of God, but he didn't know Jesus. And he came to Jesus at night, and he said, Rabbi, I see that you perform miracles, and obviously a, you're a great teacher. And Jesus begins to speak to Nicodemus, and he says, Nicodemus, the truth is you can't even see the kingdom of God unless you're born again, and you can't enter the kingdom of God unless you're born again. And that's when Jesus starts talking to Nicodemus about wind. So I'm going to read to you from John chapter 3, beginning at verse 7. He says, Nick, you should not be surprised at my saying. You must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it's going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. So what could God be saying today through that Spanish moss and the wind? Number one, you can't see wind, but it's real. You can't see God's Spirit, but that doesn't mean God isn't real. And the second thing we learn is we watch the Spanish moss, moss flow in the wind, but we don't know from which direction it's coming and which direction it's going. And Jesus tells us that his spirit is like that. He's everywhere. There's no place that God's spirit is not at work. I hope he opens your eyes and my eyes today to see all the ways that he's loving on us as we watch love speak.